sweet, sticky Chinese barbecue pork. And the homemade version, oh, so much better. First up, let's talk about the pork. So I'm using pork neck. Basically a sort of pretty large chunk, hefty chunk of, of pork, and it's got quite a lot of fat running through it. And we like that because that's gonna keep our char siu pork nice and juicy. I find that the pork fillet or the tenderloin, which you can use, but that one tends to dry out a little more in the oven. Now what we wanna do is turn this big hunk into three smaller ones. So I'm just gonna slice through so that I get three nice long strips. And now for the all important marinade. So hoisin first. This really is the backbone flavor of this pork. And then we've got some Shaoxing Chinese wine. If you can't find the Chinese wine, you could use dry sherry as well. Or if you wanted to leave alcohol out, just use a little bit of chicken stock. And then we want some honey, basically like the Chinese version of a barbecue marinade. It's sweet and then with that beautiful Chinese five spice flavor. And we've got some brown sugar as well, oyster sauce, and some finely grated garlic and some Chinese five spice for that beautiful spice aroma and some soy sauce. Good teaspoon of salt as well. And now to get that restaurant style classic red color for our pork without using any nasty additives. So I'm gonna use beetroot powder and you can find that in a lot of health food stores these days and that's gonna give us a really beautiful natural red color. Okay, so give that a good mix. Now we take a resealable bag and pop our pieces of pork into that so much easier than cleaning up a bowl and also with that red food coloring you want to make sure that you're not staining any of your utensils or cookware okay so that's why i'm also going to do this on a tray i'm going to put a tray underneath the marinade and that bag of pork barbecue pork is delicious but not worth ruining your bench tops over okay so pour that carefully into the bag now just close that up nice and tight and then give that bag a good shake and really massage that marinade into the pork. Now you wanna get that into the fridge overnight. A few hours will do at a pinch, but I really want that pork to soak up all of the flavor and all of the color as well. Mm, I can really see that pork soaked up a lot of that flavor. So I'm gonna take that out. And we're gonna put that onto a baking tray. Now my baking tray, I've just set up here with some foil underneath and then a rack on top. Now that's gonna save us on the washing up because this sticky marinade tends to burn on the bottom of trays and no one wants to deal with that. And then I'm just gonna pour a little bit of water just to cover the bottom of the tray. I don't want it to come up above that rack, but that water's gonna to help to steam the pork, keep it nice and juicy, and also help to keep that marinade from burning on the bottom. And then that just needs 20 minutes in the oven. Now we're left with all these beautiful juices in the bottom of this bag. So I'm just gonna pour that out into a saucepan. And I'm going to use this as a basting sauce, but I can also use it as a side sauce for serving the pork. So we wanna bring this up to a boil. And once you can see that it's boiling, just turn the heat down and let that gently bubble and simmer away until it's nice and thick and glossy. Oh, I tell you, my kitchen is smelling amazing at the moment. Garlic, five spice, oh, all my favorites. Okay, I'm just gonna spoon out about half of that sauce into a bowl. I'm gonna use that to baste our pork. Now we're really starting to get somewhere that pork is starting to look really good. Okay, now I want some of this gorgeous sauce. I'm gonna brush that on the top. Mm, so glossy. And then just turn that pork over and then brush the other side. Now back in the oven for 20 minutes just to cook that pork through. Oh yes, where is that drool emoji when you need one? Ah, oh, this pork looks amazing. Now just let that pork rest for 10 minutes. And now the moment of truth. And now we get to slice and eat. My favorite time of the day. Oh, there is nothing like making this homemade version of Chinese barbecue pork. Oh, look at that. So juicy through the center because we've used that particular cut of pork rather than the pork fillet. And then that glossy, sweet, sticky outside is just looking amazing. There are so many recipes you can make with this pork. You can serve it with some steamed rice, some cucumber, and a little bit of that leftover sauce that we made. Or you can use it for noodle soups, stir fries, a whole bunch of things. I'll be posting heaps of awesome things you can do with this Chinese barbecue pork over on my YouTube channel. So head there and don't forget to subscribe.